Road traffic statistics show that using tyres that are in poor condition or underinflated is an important cause of accidents. For Automobile Peugeot, the search for greater safety has always been a priority aim. In terms of active safety, the 607 offers, in addition to the now conventional ABS, anti-skid systems and electronically controlled suspension. Innovations such as dynamic stability control, emergency braking assistance, and tire pressure monitoring. This last system, fitted as standard, employs pressure sensors located inside each wheel. The pressure data are transmitted as high frequency signals to a receiver at the rear of the vehicle. The receiver is wired to the Integrated Service Unit, BSI, which analyzes the data and then transmits warning messages when appropriate to the instrument panel and the multifunction display via the VAN network. All four wheels of the vehicle are fitted with transmitter modules that encompass the inflation valve, and an electronic circuit for measuring pressure. The entire electronic system is embedded in resin to enable it to withstand vibration. The system is powered by a lithium battery with a life of about 10 years, making it completely self-contained. As a battery saving measure, the transmitter modules are fitted with an inertia switch, consisting of a ball and spring. The centrifugal force generated by the rotation of the wheel enables this switch to detect whether the vehicle is at rest or moving. The modules also contain a pressure sensor. It is of the piezo resistive type. The modules emit a radio signal at a frequency of 433.92 MHz to an HF receiver located under the rear parcel shelf. The transmitted messages consists of four main parts. First, the module transmits the function code, which identifies the type of message to the BSI. For example, this may be moving off, normal running, or change in pressure. The module then transmits a field containing its identification code. Next comes the pressure data field. Pressure is measured in the range 0 to 3500 millibar with a resolution of 14 millibar. Finally, a checking field is used to verify the coherence of the frame so that any invalid messages can be rejected. The HF receiver, which is fitted with a 15 cm receiving antenna, is powered plus once the ignition is switched on. 
and it receives the engine running signal. Thus the receiver functions only when the engine is running. The receiver is connected over an RS-232 serial link to the BSI which analyzes the pressure signals from the four tires. This serial link is also used by the HF remote control unit. If necessary, the BSI transmits warning messages to the instrument panel and the multifunction display via the VAN network. The messages can indicate that a tire is soft, or burst, or that a transmitter module is missing or faulty. It will be noted that the spare wheel is not fitted with a transmitter module. When the vehicle is at rest, the tire transmitter module measures the pressure every 15 minutes and transmits the data once an hour. Once the vehicle moves off and has reached a speed of between 10 and 20 kilometers per hour, the inertia switch closes. The module measures the pressure and transmits an initialization moving off message. While the vehicle is moving, the modules measure the tire pressures every 10 seconds and transmit the signal once a minute. If the BSI receives an abnormal pressure signal, or does not receive a message from one of the four modules while the vehicle is moving at 25 kilometers per hour or more, the relevant warning is transmitted. If a module detects that the pressure has changed between two measurements by more than 84 millibar, it transmits an additional warning message. The BSI continuously analyzes the pressure signals. Pressures are regarded as satisfactory if they are no more than 390 millibar below nominal pressure. If the difference from nominal pressure is between 390 and 530 millibar, the tire is regarded as underinflated. The warning is given by an orange pictogram accompanied by an audible signal. The message tire soft is displayed for 6 seconds. If the pressure is more than 530 millibar below nominal, the tire is considered to have burst. The warning is given by two red pictograms and the display is maintained until the ignition is switched off. The BSI also calculates the rate of change of pressure and if the loss of pressure is rapid transmits a warning message. If the BSI receives no message from one of the transmitter modules it transmits the message tire pressure sensor missing. The transmitter modules are self-contained and while the vehicle is moving they transmit a signal once a minute. Thus two transmitters may transmit simultaneously whereupon the HF receiver will pick up a signal it cannot decode. To avoid the situation where two transmitters are in phase, a random delay of up to four seconds is added to the one minute period between two transmissions.
It will be noted that a burst tire placed in the vehicle boot continues to transmit in vehicle stopped mode, i.e. once an hour. The transmitter module is fitted with a battery voltage monitoring system which can detect its decline at least three months before the end of its life. A special message is transmitted by the module and the state of the battery is stored in the BSI memory. When the vehicle stops, the modules remain in vehicle moving mode for at least 30 seconds. Since the module electronics are embedded in resin, no repairs or maintenance to the module, such as replacing the battery, are possible. When replacing a module, check that the rubber seal is present. Check the positioning of the transmitter module. Tighten the nut to the recommended torque. It will be noted that modules are delivered in the off mode, i.e. inactive, and that they become operational once the inertia switch closes as the vehicle moves off. After replacing the module, it is essential to communicate the identification code of the new module to the BSI. This is done by using a seam tool known as the Valcom or Forcer in conjunction with the Diag 2000. The Forcer transmits a signal at a frequency of 125 kHz for 7 seconds. The tyre transmitter module is fitted with an antenna of the transponder type. After receiving the signal for 5 seconds, the module transmits 8 successive identical frames containing the identifier. These messages are special in that the function code field contains the indication learning mode, thus enabling the Diag 2000 to teach the new code to the BSI. The ProtocTel, which is already used for checking remote control units, is used to verify the HF emission from a module. The BSI stores in its memory any module faults together with the battery flat messages. The faulty module or flat battery can be located by the Valcom, again used with the Diag 2000 using a procedure of elimination. It will be noted that all these operations should be conducted with the engine running, since it is only in those circumstances that the HF receiver operates. With this system for detecting underinflated tyres, Automobile Peugeot offers a further active safety feature for the 607.